Hi, my name is Stephanie and this is Maria and we are occupational therapy students at the University of South Alabama. Today we will be providing a video demonstration of the administration and scoring of the nine hole peg test. The nine hole peg test is a standardized performance based timed test used to assess fine motor coordination, eye hand coordination, and the ability to follow simple directions. It is commonly used by occupational therapists as a quick measurement of finger dexterity. Specifically, it is used to measure unilateral finger dexterity to determine the extent of fine motor impairment in people experiencing difficulties with functional performance. It provides data about the speed, accuracy, and quality of hand and finger use. The test can be used with various populations including individuals with either orthopedic or neurologic impairment. Norms are available for score interpretation for children and adolescents ages 4 to 19 years as well as adults ages 20 years and older. The 9-hole PEG test has high inter-rater reliability and good test-retest reliability. It also has shown evidence for concurrent and convergent validity and has proven sensitivity to detect minor impairments of hand function. When setting up the nine hole peg test for administration, several factors should be taken into consideration. Materials needed include the pegboard, nine pegs in the peg container, a stopwatch, a score sheet, and a pen. The client should be seated at an appropriate height table and the pegboard should be positioned horizontally at the client's midline with the container holding the pegs oriented towards the hand being tested. During testing, only the hand being evaluated should perform the test. The hand not being evaluated is permitted to hold the edge of the board in order to provide stability. Prior to beginning the test, the client's dominant hand should be determined and this hand should be tested first. If the client experiences unusual discomfort at any point during the testing, the test should be discontinued. If the client has no motor function in the hand at all, the test should not be administered. The nine hole peg test involves the client using one hand to quickly place each peg into the board in no particular order until all holes are filled and then quickly placing them back into the container. The other hand is used to stabilize the board. Standardized instructions are read to the client and one trial per hand is given. The task is timed and timing should be performed with a stopwatch with the time recorded in seconds. Start the stopwatch as soon as the person touches the first peg and stop the stopwatch as soon as the last peg hits the container. During this demonstration, Stephanie will be role-playing a 50-year-old woman with upper extremity deficits, including weakness and limited range of motion, in her right hand due to a left middle cerebral artery cerebrovascular accident which occurred eight months ago. Hi, Ms. Stephanie. My name is Maria, and I'm an occupational therapy student. Now, it's my understanding that your right hand has been giving you some trouble during your daily activities. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Well, today, we are going to measure your ability to use your hands and fingers in a simple task involving this pegboard. It is called the nine-hole peg test. This information will help us to determine the extent of your hand and finger impairment. Before we begin, can you tell me your dominant hand? My right. Okay, your right. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I will read the instructions and demonstrate the test to you. Are you ready? Okay. Pick up the pegs one at a time using your right hand only and put them into the holes in any order until the holes are all filled. Then remove the pegs one at a time and return them to the container. Stabilize the pegboard with your left hand. This is a practice test. See how fast you can put all the pegs in and take them out again. Are you ready? Yes. Go.
Okay, very good. We'll keep that right in the center. Okay, now, this will be the actual test. The instructions are the same. Work as quickly as you can. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Faster. again. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange this board for you. Okay, now we are going to do the same task, except you are going to use your left hand to put the pegs in the board. We'll do it the same way, have a practice trial, and then do the actual test, okay? Are you ready? Okay, pick up the pegs one at a time using your left hand only, and put them into the holes in any order until the holes are all filled. Then. Remove the pegs one at a time and return them to the container. Stabilize the pegboard with your right hand. This is a practice test. See how fast you can put all the pegs in and take them out again. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Very good. Now, this will be the actual test. The instructions are the same. Work as quickly as you can. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Faster. Out again. Faster. Very good. Good job. Thanks. Scores are based on the time taken to complete the test activity, recorded in seconds. The score sheet shows the times for both hands separately, as shown here. The times reported for each hand are compared with normative tables according to client age and gender. Faster times generally indicate better function. For Ms. Stephanie, I look at the female's chart and locate the age range of 50 to 54 years. Next, I compare both her right and left hand scores to the means for this age range. Ms. Stephanie's right hand score of 45 seconds is above the mean while her left hand score of 20 seconds is exactly at the mean. The high score for her right hand, meaning she took longer to complete the task than women her age in the normative sample, was to be expected due to her limited range of motion and weakness secondary to her stroke. When interpreting scores compared to the means, it is important to remember that faster times are better. Therefore, lower numbers indicate better function. In addition to comparing a client's scores to the normative sample, the client's scores can also be used to track progress over time. The therapist would simply conduct the nine-hole peg test at a later date and compare the results to the initial test to see if the time to complete the test for either hand had shortened, indicating improvement in hand and finger function. All right, Ms. Stephanie. Here is what I have gathered from your scores when comparing them to other women your age. 
For your right hand, you scored above what an average woman your age would score, which means you perform the test slower than average women your age using your right hand. However, this was to be expected since you reported having weakness in your right hand and not being able to move your fingers very well. For your left hand, you scored in the average range compared to women your age. This was also to be expected because you have not reported any problems with your left hand since your stroke. This information is good because it helps to show me what we can work on in, during therapy. Several observations can be made from Miss Stephanie's performance during the nine-hole peg test. She appeared to have trouble grasping the pegs with her right hand and often made several attempts before successfully picking them up. This is most likely due to her limited range of motion and weakness secondary to her stroke. Again, the higher score was expected for her right hand because of her stroke, and her average score for her left hand was expected as well. There are several advantages and disadvantages to using the nine-hole peg test. Disadvantages are that performance on the nine-hole peg test may be sensitive to practice effects. Also, patients often display poorer performance when first tested due to lack of familiarity with the task. However, advantages are that norms are available for interpretation of scores, written and verbal standardized instructions are provided, the test can be administered by a wide variety of trained examiners, and the test is small and portable, making it easy to use in a variety of settings. This concludes our demonstration of the nine-hole peg test. Thank you for watching.